If you take a minute to think of television's most classic comedic moments, you'll quickly find out that our first guest is part of most of them. <laughs> I love you. That, that, that gown is gorgeous. Thank you. I saw it in the window and I just couldn't resist it. Harold Burnett. Yes, We're thank together. you so We're much together. for being here. Thank you, thank you. You know I adore you. Oh, I, it's, a, it's mutual. It is mutual. Oh, Aren't but, you, yeah. you know, <laughs> legendary. I know it's hard for you to get here. You've been busy, you've been touring, you've been everywhere. Yeah, yeah. I've been out. Uh, I just got back from doing seven different cities and doing 90 minutes of questions and answers. Wow. Yeah. Unscripted? Unscripted. People just come in and ask you anything. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you felt it all. Yep. I felt, I, and I felt it all, too. It was, <laughs> it was scary. The, at, they had questions about the Carol Burnett show, undoubtedly. Oh, yeah. Definitely. Yeah. yeah. What, what were your favorite episodes? Do you have, or little skits? Do you have any particular ones that... <sighs> Well, certainly the Gone with the Wind that, uh, of course, that was the greatest sight gag we ever did, and that was designed by Bob Mackey. Right. He's the one who came up with that. Our he did all Cher's designer. costumes. Remember well, with the belly button showing? Yeah, that was him. Yeah. Yeah, he didn't show mine that much. <laughs> <laughs> For which I was grateful. And so was the public. <laughs> um, we had, one of my favorite parts was when you played the queen. Oh, oh. And then Tim Conway played the guard. Conway was, uh, he was actually, he, uh, he wrote a lot of those. And he was, uh, the hollow hero was what he was in that. Because, uh, and that's why the queen and uh, uh, the uh, king, we, we call him king and queen, Harvey and me, and we put up with him because he was a brave soldier who had saved his entire regiment by swallowing a live hand grenade. <laughs> and therefore, all of his insides were gone so that when you spoke to him, there was an echo. <laughs> well, guess what? We have a clip. You have yes, it. we do. Roll this from the Carol Burnett Show. The king and me have been standing, the king and I have been standing <laughs> Antelope sherbet and goat hoof ice cream. Whatever! <laughs> now you listen to me and you better listen good. They got vanilla. They got chocolate. They even got coconut papaya. But there is no such thing as animal flavored ice cream, you hollowed out little cream! It's so funny. It's so ridiculous. Do you watch them ever? Uh, Do you watch the shows? Well, I don't sit there like uh, Norma Desmond at night and go through yeah. the past, you know. But uh, once in a while, when I want to check on something, I do have all all 280 episodes, right? And uh, I'll check on stuff and on what guest stars were on when, and and uh, and sometimes see a sketch that um, I might want to redo somewhere or something like that. Well, they're starting to air, you know, on the family yeah, channel. Yeah, on the family channel. Yes. Now. Yeah, just half half, half hour. hour. Repeats, yeah. Yeah, I watch it. Yeah. Tape oh. them. I tape Although you. I, I tape you oh, and all my children. I was on all my children. I know. I know. You were on all my children. Yes. How long 
you been watching all my children? About 20 years. Same with me. About 20 years. I'm... Who's your favorite character? Oh, well, Erica. Erica, she's the greatest. Her. And I love Adam and, and Stuart. Stuart. I think they're, well, they're all just wonderful. Yeah. Do you remember Tom Cudahy from the Goalpost? Yes, of course. He left. He left. I loved him. He left. He was, he was good. a good guy. Yeah. He was a good guy. Remember and Brooke when she was first on the when show? When she was first on the show, yeah. and she married Tom. Tom, yeah. the Goalpost. They had the kid, the yeah. tragedy and, happened. And then, but then her mother, well, at one point, was a spy. Yeah. And was very evil, but then we found out it wasn't her real mother. Whew. Yeah. That, that was hard for Brooke. I remember yeah. that time. And then Brooke found her real mother in the shelter. Yes, I, I remember that. Uh, very realistic. Mm -hmm. Remember when she started to date Tad? How wrong was that? That was strange, that but was at wrong. least Jamie came of that union. Yes, that's right. Yeah. Jamie's in college now, I think. Uh, Jamie will be next week. Yeah. Right now he's in grammar school. He's in grammar yeah. I lost it. <laughs> so where did you get that from? Where did I get that from? Yeah, where did you get it from? Well, when I was real little, uh, my grandmother and I used to go see about eight movies a week, double features, you know, and uh, so when I'd come home, I would play the characters, and I have a very beautiful cousin, uh, Janice, and we were the same, we are the same age and everything, so we, we were little. If I saw a Nelson Eddy and Jeanette McDonald movie, she got to be Jeanette. No. And so when we saw um, Tarzan, it was either, you know, either I had my choice of being Tarzan or Cheetah. <laughs> so I chose Tarzan, and, and then I just taught myself the yell. And people ask it every single show. Oh, yeah, they do. Do and they, they still ask, ask it in, in real life? Yeah, in real life. In real, yeah, in fact, not too long ago, I, I don't do it unless it's a controlled area now. Oh, yeah. Because I have been asked in grocery stores and, you know, on the street. And so once I was at Bergdorf Goodman's here, and, you know, that's kind of a... Swanky. Swanky store. And I needed to buy some hose, and I went up, and it was kind of empty on that floor at that time. And this lovely lady said, may I help you? And it's fine. Yes, thank you. I would like some. Hose. It's like it was you were in church then. You know? <laughs> and I said, I, I need some hose. She said, Oh, all right. And what we? Oh, I know you. And I said, Well, thank you. What's your name? So she said, Would you mind signing some things for my grandchildren? So I signed about she had about six grandchildren. So I signed everything. She said, Now and here's your hose. And so I opened up my purse and I didn't have my right wallet, the correct wallet. I hadn't brought it with me from the hotel. I said, oh, I'm so sorry. I said, but I have my checkbook here from Los Angeles. She said, oh, well, I don't know. I'll need some identification. <laughs> and so, then I said, well, uh, gee, I, you know, I, uh, then I didn't have my driver's license with me. So I said, what am I going to? She said, well, let me see if I can. It's the rules, Miss Burnett. I'm sorry. So she goes across, way across the place. And there is another lady there who's the floor manager, even more elegant. And there was one back for and she comes back. She said, "Miss Miller will okay your check if you will do the Tarzan yell." <laughs> so I did. Now, <laughs> so, okay, I did the Tarzan yell, and instantly this exit door pushed open, and there was a security guard. <laughs> with a gun, <laughs> we could have had our heads blown off. You know, he thought somebody was being killed in there. So I don't do it uh, unless uh, people know and it's, it's, yeah. uh, it's prepared. Yeah, this is pretty controlled here. Yeah. You wanted, I don't want to force you or anything. Will you do it with me? Well, maybe at the end, maybe but you know, I don't think okay. you need help. OK, OK. <clears throat> The most embarrassing question I was ever asked? 
was whether or not I'd had a sex change. <laughs> I think that takes the cake, yes. Uh-huh. Yes. Did you? Did I? <laughs> which is so wonderful and the stories of being raised by your grandma yeah and I hear congratulations for you you're about to become a grandma yes and it's wonderful my my youngest daughter and her husband are expecting in January and, and uh, when she told me that she was going to have a baby I was I was astonished because uh, she's only 10 and uh, <laughs> But he's an older man and can take care of her. Uh, <laughs> I'm thrilled. I am absolutely thrilled. And Erin, uh, being my baby, but the first, I have three girls, and, right. and she's the first one. But she, uh, <laughs> you know how you love people who have stories about their kids? Yeah. Well, I'm going to tell one. All right. Um, <laughs> when she was about four, uh, the three of them uh, were about a year and a half apart. Boom, boom, boom. So she was a baby at four. Jody was about five and a half, and Carrie was around seven. Joe and I would take them out to dinner, and of course they'd be hellions. If one was good, the other two would be throwing breadsticks and doing, you know. So finally, uh, Joe said, okay, this is the last night. We're going to take them out to dinner until they're 30. <laughs> and so we went out. Erin was sitting between us because she was the baby. And so when the waiter came up, uh, he said, what would you like? And she said, well, um, I don't want dinner. I'll just have dessert, thank you. And uh, so I said the usual thing, no, madam, unless you have dinner, you can't have dessert. Then she said, well, then I just won't have anything. I said, well, that's fine. <laughs> and so then the other two, of course, were wonderful. I'll have soup, I'll have salad, I'll have two on court on right. course, uh, courses. <laughs> and so then uh, she was sitting there all through the meal wanting to, I knew it, apologize to me, but she t she just couldn't come out and say, Mom, I'm sorry. She, it just wasn't in her. So we're sitting there through the whole meal. Finally, every time I'd look at her, she'd look away, and she'd be looking at me and wanting me to say something. Right. No. Nope. Finally, she looked at her father, and she said, Daddy. He said, Yes, Aaron. She said, I love you very much. <laughs> and he said, I love you too, Aaron. And she said, and I also love your wife. <laughs> Brilliant at four. Yeah. She got you. Yeah. She got, she got yeah, me. Yeah. And to be that cleverly manipulative, <laughs> she also got the dessert. I'll bet. <laughs> you raised her well. I did. Uh, and your daughter, Carrie, is opening in Rent in Boston. Yes. Yes, playing the role of Maureen. Yeah. That's wonderful. Yeah. I can't wait. Well, we, our audience, they all had questions. They said they wanted to ask you questions. We said, if you're up for it. Absolutely. All right, where's Donna Benish? Donna Benish. There you go. Get right there. Stand up, Donna. Hi, Donna. Hi. Hi, Carol. What is your um, favorite comedy character that you've ever played? Who? I think Eunice. I know a lot of people think that. Um, Sorry. Sorry. <laughs> there was a uh, there, there was kind of a pitifulness about her that grew. You know, you, at first she was just this screamy, yelly kind of thing, and uh, but then. As we developed uh, the characters, you could kind of understand why she was uh, so enraged because of that mother and the <laughs> husband and all, you know. And uh, so there was more, uh, more character to her for a variety show than I had ever played. So I, I think I liked, okay. liked doing her the most. Michelle Kirich, where are you, Michelle? Up top, run up there, Mr. Man. <laughs> what name? I don't know. Whatever your name. Hi, Mr. Michelle. Hi. Um, my question was, how do you eat an Oreo cookie? How do I eat an Oreo cookie? With relish. <laughs> now, this woman says her name is Rosie O'Donnell. Where is Rosie O'Donnell? Is that really your name? Yeah. Oh, oh, my, my goodness. Hi. Hello, Rosie O'Donnell. What's your question, Joe? When you're at home, what do you usually do around the house? Me? Oh, of course, you're asking me. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> not a hell of a lot. <laughs> I'm, I'm not a cook, but if you ask me over for dinner, you would love to have me there because I not only do the dishes, I'll do the windows. <laughs> I love to clean. All right, and the last 
next one from Tawny Botch. Tawny Botch, where are you, Tawny? Hi. Stand up, Tawny. Sure. Hi, Tawny. Hi, how are you? Good. I'd like to hear your theme song from your show. I, I'd love to hear your theme song oh, from your show. John, you must know <laughs> it. Sure. I'm so glad we had this time together. Just to have a laugh or sing a song. Seems we just get started. And before you know it, comes the time we have to say so long. Good night, everybody. Harold Burnett, ladies and gentlemen, thank you so much. <laughs> thank you.